Hey, Grant Lawrence from CBC Music here with a great story of attempting to overcome a physical calamity in an effort to create beautiful music. If you're a fan of eclectic modern folk, you might be familiar with a wonderful singer-songwriter from Toronto named Annabelle Chavostik. Besides her own solo career and writing with legends like Bruce Coburn, she was also a member of the beloved bluegrass folk band, the Waylon Jennings. June flowers are so bold on the devil's paintbrush road. The devil paints a double life from there. I dare not go. Living and dying gone, living and dying gone. Leave the dream of heart to know. Living and dying gone. That's the Waylon Jennings with one of their most loved and successful songs, Devil's Paintbrush Road, written by Annabelle Chavostik from their 2006 album Firecracker, also named after one of Annabelle's songs. Now, Annabelle Chavostik has been involved in music in one way or another since she was a little kid. She first sang with the Canadian Opera Company when she was seven years old and performed on CBC television specials with icons like Anne Murray and Tommy Hunter. She only lasted a year or so in the Waylon Jennings before moving on to solo records and singles like this. From her amazing solo album, Resilience, from 2008, that is Annabelle Chavostek with the title track. And she didn't know it then, but Annabelle would soon be digging deep for her own resilience to overcome an unexpected workplace accident that has impacted her ever since. In 2015, during a sound check for a show of hers in England, Annabelle Chavostek was rocked by a very loud and sudden blast of feedback. As a result, Annabelle suffered severe hearing loss and tinnitus in her left ear. She was forced to dramatically slow her career down, but in the past few years, Chavostik has explored new ways of making music while coming to terms with her late deafness. This year, Annabelle Chavostik has returned to the solo spotlight with a spectacular new album. It's called String of Pearls, and it was recorded in mono to help other people with hearing loss continue to enjoy music. The first single is a gorgeous song called Walls, which hauntingly captures her hometown of Toronto at the beginning of the lockdown in 2020. The lights are not That is the absolutely soaring new single from Annabelle Chavostik. It is called Walls. It's from her new album, String of Pearls. And that is the song that you need to add to your Perseverance playlist for this week. I'm Grant Lawrence from CBC Music. I'll check in with you again next week.